guys can probably tell by the picture, it's called pasta. What if, um, what if Asta had a kid named Pasta? Yes, that's gonna be it. So we're gonna start off with the story of Asta. Who somebody narrated it. Long ago, a man, strong, no magic, defeated the demons of the Diamond Kingdom and became the ruler of the land with his wife of the Silva family. Even with no magic, his granted power from his bloodline gave him the power to win in the army's war. And his he's crowned the magic king. Um, magic king and the king of the land itself. After this, he had a kid named Pasta. Pasta and him had Pasta had the same magic, had the same ability, and it, the ability granted his father's magic, causing him to have anti-magic, and the magic he inherited from his mother, Noel, with his brother Yuno and Mimosa. <laughs> Now we're going to start off. We start off in front of Pasta and Yuno-chan. Yes, Yuno-chan. It's a girl for them. So it's going to start off with them playing and Asta showing her, her, um, Mercury magic and water magic and his ability to make silver swords and stuff. People praise him as the strongest. Some people say that he should be weaker than us because his father isn't a noble. But people respect him. And we were, and people ask him why his name Pasta, and the people say from Asta. And they're like, yeah, I get that they had a pee, but they're, then people are talking about, no, he's kind of an idiot, they say. And they said that whenever he was, because I don't say there was no pasta in that land, whenever he was visiting the Diamond Kingdom, or the Heart Kingdom, they showed him pasta. And he was like, my name's Asta, so I'm going to name my kid Pasta. Is it Asta Pasta? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is amazing. But yeah. Pasta pasta, man. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. Pretty much pasta's ability is to make anti-magic weapons. Anti-water so his magical attacks are silver, and he does have one for all. So when he goes to a school and stuff, he was like straight A's. And if he has a magical test, he wins. So we're gonna get whenever he gets to his grimoire. But the question is, why does he have two? A silver grimoire with a dark black grimoire like his father and they're confused to get that he's the son of the king and magic knight king but they're wondering why he has two grimoires and stuff and you know uh, in this one because it's my what if you know is a full hell elf in this one because it's transformation so his son is a elf so yeah <laughs> Or his daughter is elf. <coughs> and for some reason, 
and the next one in one five leaf clover and one four leaf clover. Next one, his cousin, pretty much. People or his cousin having a, a two four leaf clover grimoires for some reason. <laughs> They're confused. But in this, we have magical weapons giving people power to, even with weak powers, to destroy stuff from the mad scientists of the family. And guess who that is? It's the girl that had, like, that had the salamander power created weapons for him. And they all require to have mana skin and that weapon. So, yeah. But Asa doesn't have to carry a weapon because he can make them from his father's ability. And stuff, so yeah. And, yeah. Unitron um, has the ability of plant creation and um, wind when creation and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Where it gets around that the cousin of the Magic King um, got around where he had a five-leaf clover like his father and a four-leaf clover like his uncle. And But his uncle's um, daughter had two four-leaf clover grimoires. So, whenever they go to the, go to the thing, Black Bull's leader, or two of them actually, the two fighting over the Black Clover winner seat, Lupt and Magma, the queen, um, the the leader of the um, purple orcas or the poison orcas, um, the boy, um, the little, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. What's it is? What is it again? But you know the cursed magic dude, and then the leader of the. Fates of the Thread, Vanessa, the leader of the Hiding Cat, or the the Cloud of the Sheeps, um, the girl that eats a lot. Nine magic arms. Then the Captain of the not the Going Dawn. The Rising Wind, you know, the brother of the Wizard King. The closest to be the next Wizard King after his brother if he ever fails. Then, the, and oh yeah, Magma and them are still the Black Bulls, so yeah. Because they kept pride on Yami. And then the leader of the um bronze medals or the bronze the bronze cricket Buh One, two, three, four, five, six. The captain of the Crimson Lions, the younger brother of the last Crimson Lions. Um, Silva family, or the leader of the Silver Eagles, Noel, currently off duty after being pregnant. Or, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's, and then that's what you the leader of the lightning rams or the drawing rams 
Oh, no. It's the same dude that had, like, that drawing magic. You know what? Never mind about magma and luck being the same captain. The lightning, the captain of the lightning, um, dragon. And, and you know, I, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna say Yami's still alive. And this, he's just older, and he's still the leader of the Black Bulls. You know, the dude that has absorption magic. Because he owns it, and the, and the leader of the flaming dragon, the rival of the lightning dragon. When they, whenever Asta gets, or Pasta gets there, his, his anti-magic doesn't cancel out his magic. Just to explain that. With an overwhelming magical power and a overwhelming mystical power like his father also. So they all know about the thing where, like, they had the power to... The power of one for all, so they all know about that and stuff. So, where he goes in, I'm gonna say... His demon power is actually cancel. It's complete cancel is what it's called. That gives him one, two, three, four, five different powers. So what it does, it cancels one function of somebody's ability or functions of their body or their abilities. What that can do is that he can point his hand at somebody and say, cancel heart, and their heart will stop. Or cancel breath, or cancel eyesight. So it's complete cancel. So when we really get there, he flies up in the air. I don't know he did get there. <sighs> Magma and Lauk start saying hi, it's been a, how you doing pasta, because they know each other and stuff, and all that, and people are, or because I'm gonna say that there's no really royalty, like, bloodlines anymore, because people still, like, call people commoners, but also would, like, flip out, or he'll start, like, yelling at people, like an idiot. But yeah, so he starts. They do the whole exam. Pasta gets first, every single one of them. Flying, because he does have magic, he can still fly. Um, he. Mostly he does have lock on, also. Because he got it passed down too, but he doesn't have disappear lock on or banishing lock on. Which one you want to call it? So he shoots two magical bullets, covering his hand like his father in silver, pulling out his hand, shooting magical bullets, and everything. Or not magical bullets. But I want to say that when he puts on his hand, he creates a canning. And he says, magical cannon, magical blast, shoots out. And he is physically strong because his father made him to work out. And because his abilities will run off of that power. And so for his physical strength. So he's like a regular also at the beginning because he does have ma magic. But... Also, the, the raising winds are at the top, and the black bulls are still at the bottom, because he has another bunch of people. I feel like this starts. He pits the black bulls like his father and stuff, and people are confused. Like, is he trying to be like his father so much and stuff? But he picks the black bulls. Even though the Black Bulls didn't raise their hand, or like, what? And then Yami starts laughing. 
<gasps> Alright, so it's okay, I'll take you, kid. And so, so, where he goes to the black bulls? He meets Maggie, 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 Magma's daughter, and my, um, Magma Jr., the uh, two twins, and then you'll see Lechon, Lechon, or Lectro, <laughs> I don't know, of Lux's son. And daughter in Lucky Chan, yeah, Luck, Lucky and Luck, or Luck Chan, and Lucky fighting Magma and all them, Magma's Junior and all them. I'm just gonna refer to them as Magma Chan, Magma, Luck Chan, Luck, Luck. Got it. Then you see Ness. Oh, Ness is not an adult. She is the same age. She is at least same age as... What's the name? Uh, Luck in Magma and Magichan and Luckchan. They're, I'm gonna say they're all 19. Then we have Gura. Gura in the background transformed into like a big dude, and then a the son of the eye magic dude, but he doesn't have a thing for his sister anymore. I'll say he got over it. And that's the older brother of. Um, Yes. Because I don't think they got together, at least. And that's his little sister, also. So, yeah. Then you have another cursed magic dude. In the background, talking to himself. And all that. So, when he walks in with, um, Unochan... Because you know, trying to limp them because you know, because I'm gonna say they don't. Call, I'm gonna say he doesn't call you know uncle or anything or cousin because they're not blood related or like barely, but like I don't even think Mimosa is part of the Silver family. I think she's like a branch family that developed a different type of magic. I can say that she's not even that related to Noelle to make it like she's like a third cousin. Something like that. Where they're barely related. So people, they don't think they're related. They just think they're like family friends and stuff. And I'm going to say Mimosa is like really far apart from the Silva family. So that's... So they already knew that she's not really related, so you you know Chan's in the background acting kinda like Mimosa but it has you know's like hide it attitude. And she also has a fairy next to her. One of the like I'm gonna say fairies or not fairies, but um spirits do have children. Or like successors or whatever with her but she's not like the ultimate spirit of that magic power and stuff but yeah so they get their unit um magma and luck the boys of them says baptism by lightning baptism by fire and i'm gonna say he's confused because I, the, he knows them, but, like, he thought they would, like, choose their father and stuff. The, he hasn't seen them in, like, since they turned 15 and stuff, and they're, like, four years older than them, so, yeah. So, they're all there, and they say that, then, 
Um, I'm gonna say when they go outside, they see that they have two grim wires and they activate it with um, Unitron saying plant creation magic, wind creation magic, casting two spells at once easily. Wind barrier vines of protection that will appear and protect her with um pasta saying um cancel magic cancel magic but I'm gonna say there's a time limit but like he can no he says cancel muscle movement and this stops him from moving with I'm gonna say Unitron grabbing Luck or Luck Junior or whatever. I'm just gonna call him Luck. Beating them. And this will be like a long series part and stuff. I totally forgot my What If Deku was a Grim Reaper. I'll do that one right after this one. But yeah. So that happens. And they go on their fish mission. I'm gonna say also rig this one. But like not to be like easy or whatever, but he says first mission is to infiltrate a base of operations. And this is where he tells this is like a fake mission, pretty much, and he tells um, Yami about it, and Yami starts laughing about whenever he hears it, and pretty much what it is, it's about a rogue um, magic user doing horrible experiments, which they're going to use like the smart girl, but he doesn't know who creates all the weapons or anything. So they go, I'm gonna say, and they use the dungeon, they, I'm gonna say Austin went back to the dungeon on one of their first actual missions, or like his, one of his first hardest mission, and he goes there, cleans it all up, and all that. So it is Unochan, and Luck, and Deku. Not that we were pasta there. So what's how's this gonna start? Is that they're walking in and what Asta did was that he got Zoro to put trap magic everywhere for him and all that. And because I'm gonna say he's doing the work, knows Zoro. I'm gonna say Zoro is a actually captain. Of the traps with all guys that look like girls because they misunderstood what it meant. And they're all thinking that he was a girl or like dressed up as a girl or looked like a girl. And if he takes off the mask, just to <laughs> clarify that. <laughs> so, yeah. So they're going in. Asta, or Pasta, sees that he can sense all this magic everywhere, or traps, so he says, cancel magic, cancel traps, after setting off a few of them, canceling the whole area full of traps for 10 minutes, that's the time limit, wait, it doesn't take 10 minutes to kill somebody, but I'm gonna say he has to, like, touch the person, to activate it. So they start walking through. Oh no. And then he says, Mercury magic, Mercury, like don't. And then, you know, Tawn says, um, wind magic, wind whirlwind, pushing the whole thing. They're flying through, and I'm gonna say, the spatial magic dude. And, what's her name again? The girl with the 
Cloud Magic got together, and those two and Four Eyes Sun are there, and, and who else? I'm gonna say the Drawing Magic dude, um, um, daughter, which can create. It's kind of like the Beast Scroll because honestly. Yami taught her about where he was from and taught her how the drawings were, where her drawings were kind of like that and all that. So there are layers, four eyes, um, his facial magic, I'm going to say his facial magic is, he says Foam's facial magic, that is like, um, his father's little brother spatial magic but it turns into like a cloud shape everywhere just in either the like teleporting or like tearing things apart not like erasing it but tears it apart like a black hole so crap but yeah that happens and it beats them and all that. Dang, I really like that picture I saw. Give me a second. Okay, I got the picture back. But they challenge him in the race. I'm going to say because the other dude thinks because he... Because he thinks that because he is a noble and he has complete noble blood that he'll win. Because he kind of does have that to his father. But they race... And once they make it into the laboratory, I'm gonna say somebody made like a, the dude, the girl that can use like illusion magic transformation, transform the area to make it gruesome and stuff. And people were throwing up in the back room with it, except Luck and Asta. I'm pasta, I'm sorry. But yeah. That happens, and Oster runs in, and he takes out his. He creates a katana like Yami, and activates one for what twenty percent or twenty five percent, and he starts. He says spread shot slicing in the air, and I'm gonna say because there's people up there shooting with magical rifles and then um pasta sticks out his arm with silver coming out of his arm turning into a sniper rifle sliding downwards sending it up and sniping somebody across the room and turns into a mach like a gatling gun starts shooting people down because i'm gonna say there's like hundreds of people there and He's getting tired of using it, so he takes out his sword again, and he creates a anti-magic wing, and he starts flying, or his silver wing, and he meets the dudes, and he starts battling with a dude with a black sword, but doesn't have, it's not the claymore because I'm gonna say Asta can make weapons but he never told his son about it nobody really knows about it except Noel with another katana just like Noe he's overpowering him completely until he starts till he, um Pasta starts using Mercury Magic Mara Magic shoots a dragon but then I'm gonna say Asa uses target and targets um um these two crystals that they were hanging up in the room, making it look like he starts saying that that is absorption magic that can absorb any magical power that I want it to be, freaking him out. But he just used target. His son doesn't really know about. 
Pasta doesn't know about all of his abilities because he never really showed them all. <laughs> then he does target blink on Pasta. And I want to say he just changed the color of his arm to black as if he had normal black Pasta form. <laughs> he has like armor around it where it looks normal and stuff. Then he says... He says, and he starts, I want to say, he says, magical bullets, he says out loud, and starts shooting everywhere, with the bullets disappearing, he said, what was that, with uh, Pasta getting shot in the chest about 20 times, and with somebody with fire magic, with somebody with fire magic spell hits the dude. Hitting, but with Asta, or hitting back the attack, or seeing this come and dodges it, targets it to the crystal, and then, not in, I'm lightning attack, I mean, and Lux, Luckachon is like, oh, that was amazing, and if you're wondering who's Lux's mother is, it is... The craziest scientists, because I think they have a lot in common how their personalities were, and yeah, so they start fighting. They're using life or luck, lucky chanas, and like he's using piercing shots, but every time he does, um, the dude in the cloak, because I'm gonna say Asta is taller than this, way taller than normal. Normally, he probably would if he would have grew up in the anime, but but he's, like, hitting them all back in the magic crystal, absorbing them, that's what they think. But, yeah. And they're like, oh, we must take down that crystal and destroy it. But whenever they try to shoot it, I'm going to say plant magic or covers it. With Guno Chan being confused and and like oh something else with plant magic and start shooting out her plant magic with I want to say because um Mimosa does have more experience she does overpower her but until she starts using wind with I'm gonna say somebody with water and crystal magic the dude that had crystal or mineral magic shoots in and he comes in crushing with his special ability and they think that they beat him by shooting him with a combo and they thought that was a big boss because all the other ones ran away and with somebody with ash magic coming in that which is Zoro and activating a whole bunch of traps because it's already been 10 minutes in the whole room and they're like crap my cancellation magic ended and they're trying to get out, but the whole room, when they leave, explodes with ice. No, I want to say, no, it explodes with confetti. And they're confused until they see that confetti starts burning into ash. Or not burning, but turning into fire. Then the whole place gets disintegrated. And they're like, oh my god, what if we could activated more of those traps and they're confused they get rewarded a star for this because they did make it like a real mission and stuff and it's not like the pasta could overpower everybody in the show but yeah this be the end of this